goodness, that was a shock we were not expecting. <laughs> um, she actually had a very similar question to me, so I'm going to sort of segue to another one. If that, if the Kunari are an actual option for a race background, will we finally see female Kunari? That's my question. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did we just cover three questions deep? <laughs> So, uh, those, of, those of you who are looking at the early stuff for DA2, uh, you know, so we've actually already built up the, the, the body type and exactly how female canaries are structured, and I think they look ridiculously cool. Uh, so, the, the short answer is yes, absolutely we will. Necessarily we play one right away, uh, that I can't guarantee, but absolutely yes, we will see female canary. Yes. Driving into a PC game, you see mods for it, including ones that are a major source of controversy with ones that make Isabella's skin lighter or make Adeline more feminine. Or what is your opinion on mods in general? <coughs> the, the dismissive answer would be modders gonna mod, yo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Modding is a little bit like fan fiction. Uh, in, in, a, in a good way. In, a, in, in the way that, that we, your question is, like, how, how do we feel about it? We feel about it in the same way. It is, it is complimentary in that somebody has, has taken something that you've created and they, they feel uh, uh, enough ownership about, over it to take it and make it a little bit their own. And, and that's, that's complimentary. It's a little scary sometimes. Um, <laughs> So sometimes they take it to weird places, but it's their game. And uh, um, I think that uh, there is a, there's something to be said uh, when you have a, a community that is either uh, creating fan fiction or, or modding, that uh, when you get to a certain uh, a number of them, they have a, a little bit of, of um, they, they sort of feed on each other. There's, there's a, there's a it's like, like they, they start generating their own energy, you know what I mean? And, and, and that, 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 is a, that is a good thing. When we talk about community, that, that's a big part of it, is that they, these are people that are passionate about something that we've created. And, and uh, if we could harness that power, <laughs> we could, you know, that, that would be, uh, that they'd be really interesting. But I, I, don't, I don't think that there, there's, a, there's really uh, anything negative that, that uh, you can say about it. No, I mean, really, it's a, it's, a, it's a venue for amazing practice. Uh, for people who are probably new to the industry, looking to break in, looking to understand what it is we do, um, and and you know even Dave encouraged people to do it earlier. Uh, the lead level designer for Dragon Age Origins and the lead gameplay designer for Origins were both guys hired from the modding community. Uh, they started within two weeks of me. One flew in from Israel. One flew in from uh, Germany, and they were both people who had done such great work that we we actually targeted them and said, you know, we're kind of interested in the work you're doing. Um, they didn't do anything too far afield, thank God. So, <laughs> so yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's amazing to do. Obviously, it's just, for us, it's, it's a complimentary thing. People are putting time into our work, and, and we love it. Thank you.